This is an example of a long-term stock graph. This is also known as a long-term stock chart. This particular chart is a monthly chart of IBM. Uh, as you can see up here monthly, IBM International Business Machines listed on the New York Stock Exchange. You can see the large uh, moves for the, the month there. It looks like uh, currently we're in an uptrend uh, for the current month. To get more perspective on the longer term nature of this, we can scroll back up here and see the part of the uh, the whole tech bubble thing there, 2000, 2001, go all the way back to 1980 when it was trading under uh, $14 a share, and seeing that it's a uh, made some good money for people over the years naturally dependent upon where you got in uh, an astonishingly nice upward move there from around the 15 mark all the way up to 130 or so and the nice thing about a long term stock chart is that you gain perspective on what's going on today for instance let's take a look here if you take a look here at uh, these months you're seeing some good things happening here uh, you're seeing a succession of higher lows these being the lows each of these being higher 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 uh, this month isn't over yet so we <laughs> we don't know where that might go in fact we're only six days into a uh, uh, into a 30-day month so it's got a good start off to the upside though so we'll see how that goes. Now you want to break this down and you get your perspective here. You see that we came off of this big down move. Uh, this just basically mimics the Dow and what the Dow's done. So we're going to take a quick look here. We're going to move up to uh, to weekly. Okay. Now looking at that up move weekly, you look at you know any group of you know four or five weeks basically as uh, comprising a month you can see this right here being the first week in this month one two three four five okay that's the very first uh, March has 31 days it's the very first uh, uh, week in March there and as you can see that the up move is still in effect now you're narrowing it down even further. You're saying, okay, looks like a, you know, look, looks like an up move. I want to continue to stay long. And you can see that, you know, inside that up move there are gyrations, of course. There's a ten dollar gyration, a more over ten dollar gyration from the, the, um, the high there to the low down here, and um, there's a mo nice move to the upside. And so this general, and interestingly enough, trend is up. And that long-term stock chart is what gives you that serious perspective that you need, give you the total view uh, before you get into a trade of any type or an investment of any type. This is the 200-day moving average. You can see here when we started to actually move below that 200 day move, moving average kind of gyrating here in the consolidation area between 115 and 120 on IBM and staying underneath that for some time and actually starting to have our first closes daily closes above the 200 day moving average right here Anyway, this is a quick overview of a, a long-term stock chart and uh, some of the benefits it can give you as far as giving you perspective on the smaller time frames such as weekly, daily, and even if you really narrow it down and you're someone who trades, uh, looks for intraday to time things, then uh, that, that can also be done too. Uh, that's a 60-minute chart there. So that's it. Thanks very much.